Hello everybody, it's Farm Sim Guy here. Forget to unmute my mic, all the excitement. How's everybody doing tonight? We are back on Flint Hills, and yep, yeah, we're over 5,000 views, uh, subs, and I did say, didn't I? I did say. Um, I'm a man of my word, so I did say. If we got to 5,000 subs, we would do a face reveal, so here I am. Face for the radio, I think, is the best thing to do. <laughs> Evening, Jono. Evening, Jano, Doc, Lukey Dookie, Andy, Havoc, Fusion, Plivers, Farmer, Cowboy, how are you doing, sir? Ashton. Hope you're all well, guys. Empty Pockets, how are you doing? Right. Um, it feels weird having my face on camera. Oh, well. What are we doing today? Well, so after the course play debacle of a couple of weeks ago, um, we are going back farming again. So, uh, one second. Uh, we are going to go back farming again. We have got three fields ready. Um, two soybeans and a corn so we're going to get them harvested today we've also got stuff in this bin still in the big mother bin so we'll go and get that unloaded as well in fact that's what we'll do to start with just to get things um organized yano you love sim dashboard that's great to hear mate uh i uh, i quite enjoyed it as well I'll just have a sip of my coffee from my uh, farm sim mug. First week back at work and all that. Tired. Getting back into the swing of it. Oh, better watch where I'm going. Thank you, Ashton. No, I did promise I would do it. Um, so, there you go. Another step in the uh, farm sim guy YouTube journey. Putting a, putting a face to the name. So it's corn in this bin here. We uh, we ploughed the fields off stream because it was uh, a bit of a pain. Um, I had to sort some of the field edges out. If you remember the corn, we we couldn't cut the corn properly, so uh, I went and sorted a few things out off stream so it looked tidy. Jim Melvin, good evening, sir. How are you doing? No, glad to have you back, Plivers. Pivers, even. Farmer Cowboy, how are you doing? I am from Scotland, my friend. South Africa. Beautiful country. Is there also a 6R version of that? There will be one coming, Yano. There will be one coming. There's a 9R version as well that's been requested. That's quite an easy one to do, actually. Yeah, cold here too, Jim. Yeah, I think we're due snow tonight, so... Right, we'll get some of this... Uh, we'll get some of this corn into the dryer, I think. And then we will... Uh, and we'll get some combine work done. So this is quite a nice idea. This mother bin has been a, a lifesaver, actually. May even buy a couple of more of these. There's something else I talked about in the stream last time. I've created these uh, laybys at the side of the road, so we can pull in the um, pull in the trucks at the side of the road without them driving on the field. Because I got a lot of grief for that. Apparently, you get your truck stuck if you drive them on the field. Not all of the time, but a lot of the time. So, uh, let's cover that up and we'll take this back to the dryer. And I think we'll, ju we'll jump into, um, we'll jump into field five first, which is the little field just here over the road with the telegraph poles that are a bit annoying. But we'll cut that. We'll cut that with just one combine, I think. 
so we'll get that done in a minute. Oh, really glad to hear it, Jim. Yeah, it's not a bad, uh, it's not a bad little function that. That's right, Jason. Proper coolman bin. Now, who forgot to move the other truck after they unloaded it last time? Typical bad organisation. What do you do? Let's ship it around. Just pull him in here and leave him here and we'll go back and get the other one. There we go. What's this truck, Jim? Uh, this is the... Um this is the Roadrunner Plus. So it's the one that um, was originally in store as a stand. In fact, I'll show you while that's unloading. It is this truck here. So the original Roadrunner that was uh, in game. This is the modded version. Starts in this very bling, kind of smoking the bandit thing here. But uh, yeah, it's got some serious horsepower 950 horsepower. And that's before you chip it. There you go, you can have an 1800 horsepower one if you wanted. Crazy times. Um, but yeah, it's a lovely truck. It's a lovely truck. Pulls like a dream as well, especially with these modded trailers, which I've tweaked. So, Thomas Peterson, <laughs> yeah, blame the employees. Uh, it's, it's in the mod hub. Jim, so you should be able to download it. Should be able to download it. Evening, Danielle, how are you doing? Right, that's some corn in the dryer. Good stuff. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to run this straight round to the field because I'm not going to bother with an auger trailer for field five, especially as it's soybeans as well. We'll sell them straight away. So, uh, now ideally I would like it to be facing the other way because the, um, see I've just totally messed up there. Should have come out of this, should have come out of this road. Right, we'll fix that. Good job we've got a big yard, isn't it? Right, we'll turn him around and we'll face him the right way because we're going to go to the uh, cell point at the top of the map. Dunkerton grain silos. We're going to go there. Yano, Yano, what's my favourite tractor brand? Um, can you guess? I think you probably can. Yeah, I like playing large. It's a big. It's a big farm, to be honest, Farmer Cowboy. So yeah, um, I like. I like the big machinery definitely on this one. Um, let's just run across the road again. So I must uh, give a big shout out to the Quiet Hitman, uh, who you may know from some of his mods in the Mod Hub, but he dropped by with this beauty today, um, just ahead of the stream going live. So. Rather nice seventy thousand liter auger wagon there. I think you'd be dead. You'd be dead right. Yeah, no, you'd be dead right. Um, so yes, quiet hitman. Thank you very very much indeed, sir. Now we are going to use the X nine again. And what I'm going to do? Usually, we've got uh, the headers sitting on the trailers here. But I'm going to go and grab these. This is not the X9, I've just realised. 
Noah Pierce, how do you use Sim Dashboard on PC? You um, download the Sim Dashboard software and connect it to your Android. It's there's a brilliant help guide on Sim Dashboard website. I would highly recommend you go check that out. Let's just pop him in here, actually. I don't know how I ended up jumping into that combine instead of the other one. I am using Sim Dashboard tonight. Quiet right, Hitman, there he is, the man himself. Just in case you missed it, mate. There it is. Thank you so much for that. It's awesome. Loving it. Loving it. Going to use it on the cornfield later. You don't have an Android or anything? Ah, uh, well, um, you kind of need that. Know it, as it's an Android app. It's the only way you're going to get it to work. Doc Slithers, how many years have I been doing YouTube? Um, I started on the 28th of July this year. Believe it or not. It's been a crazy few months. But something I started for a bit of fun in the summer. Evening Hayden, thank you so much. Thanks for dropping by the stream. Right. Rusty, <laughs> yeah, last year. Yeah, years. It's been years since I started. What wheel do I use? I use the uh, heavy equipment bundle. So I've got the side panel and the steering wheel. And it's great. I'm not going to lie. Really enjoy it. Right. Um, I can't show you uh, Sim Dashboard tonight because my camera's up there. And for some reason, I need to work out. I've got two, I've got two webcams, but I uh, something not right with them. I need to make sure they're plugged into the right things. Um, uh, okay, follow the rules. Unfold combine. So yeah, when I'm looking over here, I'm looking at my sim dashboard. When I'm looking here, I'm reading the chat. And when I'm looking here, I'm playing the game. Um, straw swath. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing for a straw swath. Uh, disable straw swath. There we go. Um... You wish you had a wheel. I have to say, that was one of the biggest game changers for me. Um, it was uh, the difference between playing on a keyboard and a mouse to uh, playing with a wheel was, was huge. Jim Melvin, uh, truck name is the Roadrunner Plus, my friend. Um, evening, Jacob. How's it going? Yeah, this is Logitech actually, Caleb. The the heavy equipment bundles now Logitech, not SciTech anymore. So um, let me just cut into the field a little bit here. We will be running GPS as soon as I've made a hole in the field. There we go. It shouldn't take us long to do this one. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, what am I doing now? I am turning my GPS on. I'm going to set my A line. What streaming software do we use? I use OBS, Thomas. I've, uh, I used to use Streamlabs, uh, but now I use OBS, the original OBS, and it's perfect. Perfect for what I need. Go. Okay, set B. There we go. Set my track width. There we go. Yeah, boy with a vibe. But what are my thoughts on the U.S. Capitol being stormed? Um, I'm going to reserve judgment because I haven't seen anything yet, and it's a farm sim channel. We're not a. We're not. A, we're not a political channel, but. You know what? And nothing like that can be good, can it? So let's just leave it there. Whoa, it's my face. Hello, Colin. How are you doing? Yeah, I promised when I got to 5,000 subs I would, I would uh, show my face. And I'm a man of my word, so... Uh, I can always turn it off if, uh, if it's too offensive. 
and we can go back to uh, <laughs> we can go back to sim dashboard screens because they are sexy. Right, let's uh, cut the bottom of this field and then we can get stuck in with the uh, GPS as per normal. Did I fusion? Go on, share again, man. I did. I did miss that. I'm sorry. Well, it's not going to take us long to get this done at all. I think I prefer the dashboards. <laughs> Thanks, mate. I can ban you, you know. Yeah, Clutch did a great video on my uh, screen the other day, um, which was nice. Uh, very pleasing to see. Cody Bird, this map was a game changer for my YouTube career. You, Yeah, you are so right, Cody. So right, yeah. Talk about being in the right place at the right time. Well, talk about reading the right Reddit post on the right day. Um, there was only myself and uh, Scooby Dooby, if you guys know him, uh, who, were, who were doing Flint Hills at the time. So... Uh, yeah, it was kind of one of those maps that slid out under the radar, and uh, and none of the big guys had picked up on it. So when I did my first few vids on it, it uh, it kind of caught people's attention, which was nice. Congrats on 500k subs! Oh, I wish, I wish Ashton. <laughs> Oh, did he, Jason? That's interesting. I might go and have a look at that afterwards. Good. I dropped him a note and said I'd done a couple more screens, so... Uh, so, uh, yeah, he gave, me a, he gave me a thumbs up, so he said he was going to do a few more vids on it, so that's good. Stuart Trent to be a band of PC? Good work. Do I have any tips? Um, make sure you get an NVIDIA card. That would be my tip. Make sure you get an NVIDIA card. Right, this uh, this yield's pretty pretty tasty in this field. Clint Stafford, can you say hi to me? Hi, Clint. How are you? Oh, and an AMD processor. So there you go. Just keep Fusion happy. Ryzen processors are the way forward, definitely at the moment. Intel need to up their game, in my opinion. What number is the combine? Just looking for mods. This is uh, the new X9 from Sid Modding. And it is a great combine. It's got some nice uh, updates coming out for it, I do believe. I think it's got a bigger grain bin and things coming out for us. So. Dashboard looks dialed in for being relatively new. Which one's that, uh, Jordan? Is that the uh, the run screen with all of the all of the stuff on it? Spent a bit of time on that one. Basically, it's got all of the functionality from. Uh, oh, look at this mess! I'm gonna turn that off again. It's got all the functionality that Sim Dashboard will pull through in one screen virtually. I think there's a couple of other things. Now, interestingly, I had a great chat with the developer this week. What a lovely guy he is, by the way. Um, he, yeah. Uh, Grandpa Grumps, evening, evening from uh, Scotland. How are you doing? Looking, look out! I'll be streaming for about three hours tonight. 
so uh, yeah, feel free to drop in and drop out as you feel. Even in the crew, how are you doing, sir? Your music original. Thanks for joining the stream too. Don't know if that's new, but I noticed it isn't just harvesting a couple vids ago. What time is it where I am, Sawyer? It is. Um, it is. I can't see that. It's nine twenty-four p.m. Uh, can you also swap from dashboard to dashboard without making you own? Yes. Um, just swipe left and right, Yano. Yano. Or oh, I keep calling you Yano. I keep thinking about Yano Trulli from the F1. Um, yes, just swipe left and right. You can run all of the screens. So I've got all of my screens running on my dash, on my, um, on my tablet. Um, the other thing you can do is, uh, in your local settings, is... Um, is set up your d-pad if you use a controller you can set up your d-pad or, or a wheel that's got controller um, joysticks on it you can uh, you can um, sorry I'm distracted you can set them up to click left and right to scroll between screens as well so there we go that's right Jim that's all you do create a new page and then load in the next screen but then you can scroll backwards and forwards between those screens as long as you save them down. Thomas Peterson, thanks for becoming a member, friend. Great to have you aboard. You can uh, you can jump on now and have a play on the multiplayer server with Fusion. He'll give you a terrible sugar beet or potato uh, contract to work on. Farmer Cowboy, take care, my friend. Uh, Thanks for dropping by again, and I'll see you again soon. Brett Hoffman, hi, how are you doing? Oh, got caught on the uh, telegraph pole there. Yes, I'm good, my friend. I'm good. Um... Look at that. Perfectly. Perfectly organised. Right, I am going to go and get Quiet Hitman's new... Um, Quiet Hitman's new uh, auger wagon. Brett, I'm sorry to hear that. What a shame. Send my uh, condolences and best wishes to you. Seriously considering um, going into Giants Editor and removing some of those polls. Not going to lie to you. Right. Let's see if I can hit it. Oh, he does. He hits it first time. No worries, Clint. Thanks for dropping by, my friend. Appreciate you stopping by to say hello. Where did I get the face? I've always had it, the crew. I just haven't turned it on yet. So, uh, yeah, big thank you to uh, Quiet Hitman for this uh, grain bin. It is rather nice. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Fussy Wussy, thank you so much. <laughs> Mickey boy, Mick. Yeah, uh, I've never found a game that is as chilled out as uh, Farm Sim, is there? It just, it's, it's, yeah, it is some sort of therapy. Oh, I also have to give a big shout out to Trailer Park Farms as well, actually, which I'm, I haven't got one on this farm, but I will show it to you. He uh, He sorted this out for me this week. Now, you might think that is Black Sheep Modding's Gator, but it's got that on it. How about that? How cool is that? Anyway, 
Just thought I'd share that with you. So big shout out to Trailer Park Farms. Trailer Park Farms is actually who does these sheds as well. So he's a man who knows his stuff. Fussy Wussy, will I consider doing a survival challenge on No Man's Land? Uh, quick answer is no, um, because so many people are doing survival challenges on No Man's Land. But what I will say is stay tuned for the weekend, because there's something coming which you might like. Um, I'll say no more than that, because I don't want to spoil it for you. But um, let's just say it's not a million miles away from what you've just suggested. Let's be honest, how many of you, when you played the X9, uh, parked the trailer too close and wondered why it wouldn't unload? Look at the amount of uh, uh, distance it spits the... Uh, it spits the, uh, the auger out at. You can adjust it, I do believe. But actually, once you got used to it, you get used to it. Yeah, no, I agree, Havoc. No Man's Land survival is, is too many people have done it now, so uh, I'm going to do my own take on it, um, and I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it at that. Right, let's move him out of the way. Trays in key capacity. Good man. Can you use more than one vehicle on the sim dashboard? One vehicle? You can use... It, it switches to whichever vehicle you're in. Uh, Ashton. But yes, you can, you can... If you mean you can use more than one screen at once, you can absolutely do that as well. Yeah, no, no worries at all. Just need to swipe left or right. Right, let's get started again. Lower the header. You actually have to line this up before, because uh, it does two erratic steering moves if you don't. There we go, sorted. Uh, Brett, is the X9 on Xbox One? Not yet. It's still in approval from Giants, and they're not back from holidays till the 11th of January, so next week. So hopefully you should see it. Uh, then, the header mod is a uh, is the John Deere 645FD with the air reel on it. Um, you can get it, from the, um, get it from the mod hub. It's just an air reel. Um, it runs at 6 miles an hour though, whereas the X9 operates at 10 miles an hour, so I've tweaked the XML slightly, so I now run it at 9 miles an hour, so it's a little bit more authentic. But it's a great header. 45 footer as well, so it's perfect for uh, perfect for the X9 and the, and the 790s. Nolan Glomsky, thank you so much for subbing. I much appreciate that. Um, and, to, and to all of you, to be honest, you've subbed over the last few... Um, over the last few months, it's uh, it's been amazing how quickly the channel's grown. So thank you all very, very much. Brett, where did I get FS19? I downloaded it from the Epic Games Store. There we go. Guidance on... Oh, nice, Thomas. Was it? Was it? What's it like in real life? Obviously, I've watched it on um, the Millennial Farmers uh, vids, but uh, but yeah, it'd be great to hear what it is like in real life. Take care, Ashton. Thanks for dropping by, my friend. Evening, Grizzly. How's things? Right, you don't have to ask to join the Discord. It's there for everybody to join who wants to. 
Nolan is farm sim creator back? Nope, they just sell it. Just like Steam sell it. And just like you can buy it on, on disc. Minnesota, Oliver and Deer. How are you, sir? Angel, good evening. So it's early, early in the morning actually, it's not even 9 o'clock in game, so uh, it's nice to be combining. I'm leaving, uh, I am leaving, I've lost my words, I'm leaving cruise control running, or I was, I'm going to skip a through a few rows, see if I can avoid that problem with the uh, not lining up properly. No, is the quick answer. Got a little bit of a wiggle on there, but it's all good. Yano, do I do multiplayer streams? At some point in the future, yes. Um, I'm struggling to even get onto our multiplayer server at the moment because because uh, I'm so busy, but I'll definitely think about it in the future. Kale Ash, good evening. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Welcome to the stream. But we've got a great multiplayer server. Um, Fusion and a few of the guys are regularly on there, causing causing all kinds of havoc. Um, it's on Homeworld Farm. I think we've got five, four farms on it at the moment. Um, but it's, it's great fun. Great bunch. Great great bunch of guys playing on it so uh, definitely go and check them out if you want to all the infos on the discord it's picking up that little bit of uh, bean that I left in the ground right guidance on See, see how I mean? It like goes off its lane to line itself up, and then it takes ages to get back on, back in line. Okay. There we go. It's almost better to line it up yourself and then go again. Do I pay American Truck Simulator? I wish I had the time at the moment. No, I don't. Um, although I was watching Dagwin's new season series on his channel today. Uh, it was quite good fun. Quite enjoyed that. Cheesy man, one, two, three. How you doing? Welcome back, mate. Nice to see you again. Right, we're moving. We're moving pretty quick here. I think I'll have this field finished in no time at all. And then what we're going to do, if you remember the absolute shambles that was cosplay in the last uh, in the last live stream. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna try and set up a fully automated course down on that field ahead of us. Cody, is that right? Is it? Um, it's, I, I'm guessing it's the rear wheel steering of the combine that kind of over um, that overcompensates for it. Doing two headlands. Okay, yeah, that's great. Emmanuel Graf, my friend, thank you so, so much. You are too kind, sir. You are too kind. I'm glad you're enjoying the Sim dashboard screens. I uh, I have to say I had a whole heap of fun uh, making them, so um, I'm glad people are enjoying them. I really am. More to come as well. Um, I'm in the middle of developing a case one at the moment. And I've got a few other John Deere ones, just slight tweaks to the John Deere ones to get finished. There's definitely one for the 4940 sprayer. Um, so for sure. Um, I'll try that two header thing, cheesy man. Definitely. Thanks for that. How's my week been so far? Do you know what, Grizzly? 
getting back into the swing of things at work has been a bit of a challenge. You know, I'm sure we all get it when we've uh, had a bit of time off and you're trying to get the motivation kicked back in to start. But it's been it's been good. It's been not too bad. Nairi, thank you for the sub. Much appreciated. Um, Fussy Wussy, what European map do you recommend and what US map do I recommend? Um, US map depends whether you want big or small. Big, Flint Hills, all the way. Um, no question about that. And uh, if you want something smaller, uh, any of MRG mappings uh, maps are brilliant. Farmersburg's great, uh, Clark Farms, uh, Mercer County, El Qaeda, um, or go and check out his, his beta of Marksville that he's just released. Um, they're, they're all lovely little maps and they've got character and realism and all of those good things so definitely have a check of them European maps uh, I have to say I'm partial to um, I'm partial to Greenbales maps so Greenwich Valley I really like if you want a slightly bigger map and uh, the northern coast um, is really really good so check that out as well good evening Thack how's things my friend great to have you on board Hope you're well. Kailash, uh, no, this map won't be coming to console. It's too big. It's a very big map, this. Um, Troy, how are you doing? Thanks for dropping by. Sorry, let me just organise myself here. So I don't batter this. Uh oh, turned it off. See, it turns the other way. It's so annoying, and now I've got a little bit of stuff. Right. Just one second, guys. We don't like spam on this channel. Yeah, fussy. Northern coast is good. Roads are narrow, but then you get that with... Uh, uh, you get that with all European maps, don't you? Especially British maps. So. Oh, yeah, no, that sounds good with the old 3D printer. I'm impressed. Do I have the 18 meter header mod? Uh, I do not, no. Geiselberg. I've not tried that actually, Sim. Fusion. I'll I'll um I'll maybe check that out. Yeah, I think we're definitely we're we're starting rows manually, unless we've got, maybe we need to do almost a a third headland so we don't. Uh, it's definitely the rear wheel steering, isn't it? Now, will we get all of this in one in one tank? I doubt it. It's going to leave us a little bit left, isn't it? It's going to leave a little bit left. Oh, well, there you go. Definitely want to check out. And it's on console. Oh, is it not on is it not on iOS? You see these modders who are too lazy to put stuff on iOS. It's ridiculous. Good evening, Egan, how are you doing? Hope you had a good day at school. Brownie82, I'm delighted to hear it. 
it's lovely to hear feedback like that brilliant mate um, they're good aren't they I'm using mine now actually I'm using the combine screen at the moment off camera because I haven't uh, haven't got two uh, webcams set up yet but maybe that's the future is uh, setting up a webcam for uh, the sim dashboard and another one for my ugly mug or if fusion prefers we'll just we'll just do the dashboards so I'm going to run down here and make this turn a little bit easier Is that what you're doing, cheesy man? Are you watching it in your cab while you're driving? Brownie 82, it's a pleasure, man. Uh, thanks for downloading them. Right, let's get to the end of this row. Oh, we're still less than 50% in the tank. This could potentially work. Thomas, how do I prefer to play FS19 with a keyboard or with a steering wheel and pedal? Do you know what? I jump about a lot. So you can you can just see the top of my steering wheel here, can't you? Um, so I like, I like to use the steering wheel when I'm driving, for sure. Um, but equally at the same time, do you know when I do use it a lot is um, is when I'm walking about. For some reason when I'm walking about, I'm out of a cab. I'll use my WASD keys for doing that. Um, I know I've got um, I've got joysticks on the keyboard, but for some reason I don't use uh, I don't use them. I use my keyboard. So yeah, just whatever takes your fancy, really. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, I'd love to see a picture of that tablet holder when you've when you've built it, designed it. Fact: track down some of my lockdown lockup issues back to XML file. If I delete the file, I can start the game and play for an hour or so before locking. That's odd, isn't it? Wonder what's uh, wonder what's causing that. There we go. We gave it a bit more distance there, and it lined itself up better. Right. So that's the that's the trick. Few more head, uh, few more headlands. There's a keyboard steering mod. I've heard it really improves keyboard play. Uh, I used that fusion. I'll, I'll, I'll let you have a play with it and decide for yourself. I, uh, I didn't like it. Are you running a lot of mods, Thack, when you've got the game running? There's some sort of conflict. What do I like better, the Class or the X9? Ooh, good question. X9's cool. Um, I like the capacity on the Class. Um, yeah, tough call. I'm using this at the moment because it's new, but uh, Clutch is in the house. Hello, sir. How are you doing? We are honoured to have you in our presence, sir. Um, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, the sim dashboards uh, were a whole heap of fun to, to make, and I loved your video on them. Uh, so thank you for that. Uh, it was great to see. Loved the way you kind of implemented them into the game screens as well, into the dashes in the in the tracks and the combines. That was awesome. So, thank you, man. Really appreciate it. Oh, oh clutches in the house! Wow. First time that's happened in a stream. Thanks, buddy. More to come as well. I've got a few more in the pipeline as well. There's some, there's some uh, case ones coming. I've already started to develop them, so we'll try and do, uh, try and do a few more brands as well.
Right, let's keep going. Stop being starstruck by Clutch. <laughs> yeah, I heard you done another vid. Um, the guys let me know as soon as I jumped on the stream, so I'm gonna go and uh, I'll go and watch it as soon as this is done. So we're looking forward to that. Egan, am I using the uh, the aerial header? Yes, I am, sir. The six four five aerial that's in the in the mod hub. So you can have it too. Oh, brilliant, mate! Thank you. That yeah, that. Um, the active run screen was one that I want. That was almost the first one I wanted to develop because I wanted to squeeze as much of the functionality of Sim Dashboard into one into one screen. So you had kind of almost a go-to screen for everything. So, uh, but it just took a little bit of time to get my head around things. But uh, I think it actually, I think actually, it's it's probably the the least attractive looking. But it's probably my favourite in terms of the amount of content it's got on it. So. Is Clutch a better driver, or is DJ a better driver? I think that was proved in no in no uncertain terms last night, wasn't it? And let's be honest, we can in you anyway. Right, we are going to what's the betting? We're going to finish this little corner. We've got 83% in the tank. 83% in the tank. And we're going to I bet you there's one tiny little blob in the corner. I think you should max the foliage distance for better game experience. I think it is already matched, Jewel. I don't know what's... Uh, I think it's maybe because these are... Uh, Custom. Um, oh, I'm going the wrong way. Because these are uh, custom textures, it might not be letting them. Brownie, uh, what's my hopper quality rate? Yes, it is in bushels. Uh, unit uh, convert light. That mod it changes it from liters to bushels. I can make it 400. Well, I'll go and check that out. I thought I had jewel, but. Um, Maybe not. Maybe my settings... Does anybody else get this, actually? Um, your settings reset, so I have a dead zone for my wheel as well. And the default is 14%. And sometimes, when I load the game up, I switch it down to 5%, because it's just too... Uh, there's too much lag in the wheel if I don't have it tight. And... Um, it just resets itself. So I wonder if some of my other settings are... Uh, I wonder if some of my other settings have uh, reset themselves as well. Do we use bushels in Scotland? Uh, no. We use tons, actually. I think we use tons for... Uh... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's tons. If you unplug the wheel, right. I don't think I've been unplugging the wheel, but yeah, that's interesting. Maybe I have by... Maybe I've been just messing around with cables and... Things like that. That's interesting. Thanks, Gary. Sorry, didn't see you dropping in there, mate. How are you doing? Egan, you were learning about Scotland before Christmas break. What did they tell you? I'll tell you the truth. Yeah, thanks, Cheesy Man. I thought it was. It was tons 20 years ago when uh, when I worked on a farm. Worked on my dad's farm. Glad to hear it, mate. Nice to have you here. Oh. Ah, oh, rear wheel steer. Look. My OCD can't handle little stalks left in the field. Look, this is going to be a perfect fit, isn't it? Caleb, uh, what's that mod that shows you bushels per acre? It's called Unit Convert Light. And it's rather good. 
Who was asking? Carter. Do I live in the US? No, I don't, Carter. I am based in Scotland. But when I'm playing on a US map, I feel... I kind of feel you have to play with bushels on, don't you? you got to do that. I forgot most because I would worry more about having fun. Ah, oh, classic. Classic attitude at school. Love it. I have a son like that as well. Right. Let's just get this lined up. There we go. I have to like, I like the unload speed on the X9. I've got to say, that's a huge difference between that and um, the 790, which is quite slow. How old am I? Everybody asks me how old I am. Uh, and I always give this answer. I'm young enough to be playing farm sim, old enough to know better. How about that? Farmhand, farm boy, how are you doing? Egan, tip from me, mate. You can play farm sim when you're 40. Work at school, work hard. And uh, get yourself a decent job. And you can buy that PC that you want. And uh, you can play farm sim until your heart's content. But if you don't do that bit at the start, you're uh, you're on a hiding to nothing, mate. So that would be my recommendation to you. From somebody who was a proper lazy guy at school and only got his finger out when he went to university, don't uh, don't waste your school years; they're important. Evening, Victor. How are you doing? Robert Webb, what I play PC or console? I'm on PC, my friend. Thank you, Jim. Thanks for the backup, mate. <laughs> I don't want to sound like a boring old fart, but... Um, yeah. You also find when you're a bit older, when work finishes at the end of the day, you've got nothing to do. Well, when you've got the job on. Jason. Yeah, good for you, man. Sorry, Egan. I'm sure you don't need to. I'm sure your parents give you enough grief already, but... Uh... Yeah, good work, Thack. Right, so we'll go and dump this into the cell point, and then, like I said, what I want to do is, um, I'm going to set up a course play course, and we want to uh, unload path using the auger wagon as well, and we're going to put a we're going to put a mother bin at the side of the road as well, and we're basically going to run a a fully automated course. Super B looks like I have one more for you. <laughs> Lol. Brilliant. Quiet. I want my logos put on the side of these. I might I might hit you up. Like the gator. Evening Coleman. Welcome back, my friend. Hope you had a good Christmas break. Do I watch your buddies like squad squad from I surely do. Yeah. Try and catch them when I can. Brownie, do I have any more cosplay tutorials on the horizon? Um, yeah, probably. I do need to have a look back at cosplay and uh, get some of the other ones set up. Definitely. Yeah, I've got auto drives. I finally used auto drive for the first time the other day after weeks of not avoiding it, but not having the time to look at it. And that, that's another one to get my head around. Brilliant, quiet, thank you. Have I ever heard of you, Farmhand Farmboy? I've, I've heard you mentioned, yes? BJNZ67 is still playing FS since 9... You're never too old to play Farm Sim. I kind of hope I get to 
20 years time I want to retire and do farm sim I'm sure my wife is like uh, no <laughs> but uh, like I said it's, it's 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 almost therapy isn't it it's almost therapy hello Jess how are you doing I did say, Jess, if I hit 5,000 subs, you get to see my mug. And I'm a man of my word, so I stuck to it. Sailing. Am I? I am using a steering knob. Yes. It's a very forward question. <laughs> Euro Truck Simulator. I have to say, I was piqued of the interest of that watching Dagwin's new uh, new series today. So, uh, nice work, cheesy. Keeping the country going, mate. Um, I'm going to park this here for now. No, farmhand. This is uh, this is in the mod hub, mate. It's uh, the Roadrunner Plus. It is a sweet sounding. Uh, it is a sweet sounding truck, no question. Right, what am I going to do now? Did I? Right, I need to remind myself what I did down. We're going to go to that second soybean field, and I want to check. I put some laybys in, but I can't remember if I put one next to that field. So, I'm just going to go and check that. The Mac Anthem. I don't know, Jess. I don't think so. You might have to uh, drop a link to that in the uh, Discord for me. Brownie, no, you're right. Um... You spotted the accent or the lack of uh, no I'm not originally I'm uh, I'm from England thanks Jess uh, no originally from England so uh, if we go independent I'll probably get frog marched to the border and kicked out I've been here for a while though now 25 years evening Garrett how you doing evening Stekov Stefan how many hours have I got an FS off? Oh, off the top of my head, I would not know. More than I more than I care to think. Right. I thought I'd put a lay-by in here, so what we're gonna do very quickly is throw up a uh, throw up a lay-by. So we can get a we can get a mother bin in here. If I do this, that me left me any bumps in the road. Just smooth it off so it doesn't look too weird. Well, I think you might be beating me, farmhand. That's impressive, man. There we go, and we will switch to a paintbrush. This is just... I found this really, really handy. What with the auger wagons you know, holding 70,000 litres. And even with the truck, even with the, the Arctic trucks modded to 100,000 litres. And like I said, I like to keep it semi-realistic, uh, semi so I don't want to... I don't want to put a million litres in the... Uh, I want to put a million litres in the truck. Um, this, putting these mother bins in, is kind of a quite a nice solution. Now that one over there still got a load of grain in it, a load of corn in it, so I can't use that one. Um... 
Base game pace setter too. Yeah, no, I like the pace setter. It's pretty good as well. So we will now. I'm going to go and spend some money on another mother bin. Look at me checking both ways, and I've turned traffic off. Garrett, I'm sure that truck's on the on the mod hub. If it's not, they've they maybe removed it and they're going to do an update to it. But it's been there for a while. Okay. Did you subscribe, Alfie? It didn't didn't pop up with a notification. You must be on. Pr you must have your subscriptions on private, so that's why I didn't see it. Thanks for subscribing, though. I appreciate it. Right, let's get one of these Coolman bins. They are in auger wagons. Oh, another shout out for Quiet Hitman for sending me the Seed Runner, which he's changed to John Deere colors. John Deere colors. Um, very cool. Not sure why the auger pipe's pointing that way, um, but uh, there we go. It's awesome. I'm going to use that at some point when it comes to uh, seeding time. So thanks, man. I appreciate that. Gene Oliveira, speak in Brazil. I wish I could. Unfortunately, don't know much Portuguese. I don't know any Portuguese. I was going to buy something, wasn't I? I got distracted. There we go. Shame you can't do them in... Uh, John Deere colours. But there we go. We've got a bit of cash in the bank, so... Uh, oh dear, we've got a little overlap there. Delivery costs and the actual price overlapping. All good, Fusion. Thanks for uh, dropping by, mate. Right, uh, there's the eight. Should pull this with no problems. Even if it has got trips on. Can the service truck re repair vehicles? It certainly can, Jordan. Do you want a demo? Let me show you. Let me show you. It's a really handy tool to have. We'll jump in here. Oh, we've hit 100 viewers, guys. Thank you, guys. Oh, Grizzly. Congratulations, man. So, yeah, uh, Jordan, if you pull up to here, like so, fold the back of the truck down, turn it off just because it's noisy, go to here, you hit R, see the little... Uh, jack goes underneath you get the laptop here now you can turn off this uh, panel and if you're not under the vehicle it, it's red as well so uh, so you just then hit M and you can customize repair repaint you can go in change your configuration it's a brilliant tool absolutely brilliant so uh, yeah definitely good and then R to switch it off again so yeah if you want to repair things in a field and you don't want to go off and do them, it's a, it's a great mod. This is a, um, I think it's a 2015 Chevy Silverado from Carl Farms. So yeah, go check uh, go check that if you want it. Carl Farms on the... Yeah, Johnny, I've got uh, I've got an all-in-one truck on my other on my other series, Deer Country Farming. So. Oh, brilliant. Look at that. This is what happens when you've got too much stuff in your drop-off yard. Now, am I going to get this out? What do we reckon? Is this all going to go horribly wrong? Let's find out. That's going nowhere, is it? That is wedged. Right, we'll reset that. And we'll move one of these anhydrous 
gigs out of the way and uh, reset that. Brett, you don't have to ask my permission to join the Discord, mate. Just uh, jump on in there. Here we go. Right, let's let's reset that bin before we pull it out. I want to go to here. Need to go in a bit closer. There we go. Reset. Let's see if that moves it a little bit. Yes, that's just what we wanted it to do. Now, am I gonna? Am I gonna get it through here? It's like my nine R there with the double. Uh, Double floaters. Left wing clan. Thanks for dropping by. Whoa, okay, the weight in that was uh, pushing me around then. This is probably not the best tractor to be pulling this with, but I kind of thought because it's empty it would work. Couldn't get his tractor. Don't tell me that. I'm about to set up a course by course with him. Raymond, good evening, sir. How are you? I'm uh, using a bit of Aussie tech here to help me get things done. John, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Evening Taz, how are we sir? Right, let's go and stick this in the lay-by. Andy McElroy, evening sir, how are you? T-Man, how's things my friend? How's it going? getting busy in here now waiting on another snowstorm I think we're getting snow in Scotland tonight as well apparently there we go let's just roll that up to there uh, one second guys I meant to there we go Okay, is that straight? Yep. Let's, uh, it's not the pipe. Oh, I've got unfold. So this is what happens with the uh, 8Rs. You can't uh, unfold the, the cover. I don't know what it is. I think it's a cross uh, issue with the, um, the unfolding of the steering wheel. So we can't get the cover open there. We're going to have to come back with another tractor and sort that. Take care, Yano. Thanks for dropping by, my friend. That looks sharp. Thanks, dude. This is one of a kind at the moment. Am I related to Jason Statham? Uh, no. And there. Uh, yeah, I certainly don't go to the gym as much as he does. Carson Palmer. <laughs> yeah, I can confirm my throwing arm's not as good as Carson Palmer's either. Right, we'll use we'll go back with the eight RX and we need to take the bin down there at the uh the auger wagon down there anyway, so. Ah, uh, good, good, good thought, Lewis. Hadn't, hadn't actually, that's a really sensible thing to do. So, yeah, if I'd, uh, if I was a little bit smarter, I'd have thought about doing that. So, brilliant, thank you for that. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll look at that. I'll look at sorting that, for sure.
Me, I, I, I love a bit of uh, American football. American, I can't call it American football with you guys, can I? I just call it football. Um, what am I doing? You distracted me now. Egan, we're not uh, we're not seeding tonight, mate. Miami King, this map is available. Yes, if you look in the description, you'll get a link to it there. It's called Flint Hills by the rather talented guys at JS Mapping. So definitely go check it out if you're on PC. You can have all the fun with this. Field 9, where did I put the mother bin? I've actually put it across the road, Jim. Um, in fact, I'll just run along now and show you. Um, I built two laybys. I built one over the road for uh, no worries Miami I've built one here on this side of the road for field 18 and then over on the other side a little bit for T-Man Gaming thanks for joining my friend glad to have you aboard you're going to get stuck into that multiplayer server now and I put another one here, about halfway down field nine. Because it starts to get a bit of a hassle when you when you're carting with an auger wagon from the second half of the field all the way down to the farm was a bit of a pain. So I've put one here and I've put one right at the end of the right at the end of the field. Totally unboxed. Welcome back, my friend. How are you? Can I record and overlay the SIM dashboard like my face cam? Um, what I was doing, Raymond, was using my webcam as my uh, vi a visual for my SIM dash. So now I'm using it for my face. I need to. I've got a second webcam, but I'm having a conflict, so I can't run two uh, two webcams at the moment. I think I, it's the I/O settings on my motherboard, so I just need to tweak a few things. Um, so so hopefully for future streams you'll get uh, sim dash and my face what more could you want huh what more could you want can I do some sort of screen record for Android I'm sure I'm, I'm, absolutely there'll be a way won't there uh, that might be the that might be the only thing is you wouldn't see my, my button my finger touches so maybe I need to think about how I would do that so there's probably some overlay you can put over to show when I touch a button as well isn't it uh, T-Man I'm using OBS I used to use Streamlabs um, but I think it's actually quite um, I think it's quite intensive compared to original OBS um, and especially when you're trying to stream or record and play at the same time and I'm also, I've got a view of my uh, stream running through YouTube as well. So with all of that going on, it can be quite intensive. So I just keep it, OBS, OBS does everything I need it to do. So um, I'm happy to just uh, use that. I actually think it's a little bit better for transitions of of uh, between screens and stuff. So no, N, there we go. See, doesn't work for the ATAR, works for the ATAR-X. Go figure. Yeah, OBS. OBS is good. Right, I can drop that off. We'll go and pick up the uh, the auger wagon again. Right, we're going to fully automate this, guys. We are fully automating this. We're going to run two combines. Are we going to run two combines? Am I asking too much? Two combines and one auger wagon. Will that work, guys? Or do I need two separate auger wagons? What do we think? I am using the custom map, yes, T Man. Ron on, good morning to you too. Hope you're well. One should right, we're going one should work. <laughs> You're making me nervous, Thack. Not gonna lie. We've got to do it though, haven't we? It's all about experimenting. It's no fun if it's uh, if we just go if we go safe. 
It's, it's all about going big or going home, isn't it? JJ, thank you for the sub, my friend. Much appreciated. Brent, thank you for the sub. It's much appreciated, guys. Thank you so, so much. Um, let me turn off my GPS now, because we won't be using it. We're going to jump into course play for the next bit. Right, here's the deal. We're going to do two... Two combines. We're going to do one orgo wagon, and we're going to do an unload point into the mother bin. All automated. I should shut my pipe. My pipe on my combine, just for clarity. Didn't need that sign anyway. Yes, I know I should put this on a header trailer. Stop sign. I'll, I'll be respectful of the stop sign. There we go. Just avoid it. No, T-Man. Watch. Watch and learn. Watch and learn. Famous last words, unfortunately, I think. James McKnight, how are you doing? Thanks for dropping by the stream. Right. Let's go and get the other combine. This is either going to be brilliant or I'm going to go to bed in tears. Alright, I need to move this header trailer out of the way. So let me go and get my truck and just shift this. Do you, know, do you know what's nice about horseplay? It's the lack of knowing. It can go one way or the other. There is. And you just don't know what's going to happen. I have not run a, uh, a chaser bin course for, I would say, a couple of months now. So it's going to be really interesting to see what happens. Right, we're going to bring these headers back before we need the maze headers, so that should be okay there for a little while. When does Giants come back to the office, Jack? Uh, the 11th, so I think that would be Monday. Um, and hopefully, I put the, uh, put the X9 straight back out. Have you ever thought about putting your logo on pickup trucks, the farm sim guy? Uh, I haven't put it on a pickup truck yet, but I have put it on a gator. Thanks to uh, Trailer Park Farms for that, by the way. Much appreciated. Yeah, definitely on the semis. That's coming. NBA Gamer, how you doing? Thanks for joining the stream. Right, let's get this combine hooked up. Oh, it was it was running. So this is 790. This 790, by the way, it's it's a close run thing. The X9 is cool because it's new, but I tell you what, this combine still still gives it a good run for its money. Josh, this map is out, my friend. It's uh, PC only, but it's um, available if you go and look in the description below from the guys at JS Mapping. And you can, I've got links in the description. Definitely go uh, and visit them on Facebook as well and give them a follow. Tell them I sent you. But yes, it's an awesome map. Ah, you're, you're laughing then, mate. This is the gate, this is the map for you. Hope you enjoy it. It's by far my favourite map. Again, let's be let's be courteous of the stop sign. Not that we've got any traffic, because I had to turn it off. What are my thoughts on Maze Plus? I love it, actually. I'm running Maze Plus on this map, um, which obviously makes no difference when I'm harvesting soybeans, but um, I think it's a brilliant add-on. I think it's a superb mod. Um, 
So yeah, definitely. Definitely one you should check out. Fastest crop. How's my green star GPS screen going, pal? It's going really well, Josh. Actually got it running next to me, so yeah. Um, fastest crop. T-Man, are you playing seasons or not? Um... I don't know. I'll let, I'll let the uh, I'll let the chat answer that one for you. I can uh, tell you because I don't know actually off the top of my head. Right? Have I got a course for? I don't even know what field this is. Yeah, what a stupid place to put the stop signs. Field six. <laughs> field six combine times two. I'm going to delete that because I don't trust it. Does anybody ever do this? Save a load of course play courses and then never use them again because they don't trust them. That's me. Right. Um, course generation. Field 6. We're going to, to go... Oh, I'm already running a course. I've got the last course in course generation. Field 6. You boys know the score, don't you? <laughs> Um, let's bump our headland overlaps over. I've always put them at 20% ever since uh, a certain gentleman told me that was a good thing to do. And Josh, it's based in Iowa. Um, Flint Hills is down the road. I'm going to forget now. Um, oh, it's gone. I'd be a terrible um, tour guide. Fairbanks. Thank you, Jordan. Um, yeah, look, real, uh, real, real live data, real field data as well, which I think, for me, I love real maps, authentic maps that are based on places in the world. They makes me, uh, I just think they complement my kind of gameplay. So, uh, right, let's run this. I want to do, I'd like to do lands because it always means then the spout of the combine is in a good place for unloading. Uh, no worries, Josh. I, I'm i pretty confident you'll enjoy this one. It's a fine map. Right, is that going to mess me up? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Let's try can only do four. Um, right, I'm going to go old school. Hopefully that doesn't mess me up. We'll just have to deal with it. That will do me, I think. Muhitin, hi from Turkey. Hello, sir. How are you? Thanks for joining the stream. Jack, are the mods coming on console yet? Um, I don't know which mods you mean, but some will, some won't. Depends on on what the modders have have built. Ah, oh, there's no no problem here, Taz. We're laughing. We're uh, we're uh, we've got this under control. One left. Vehicle convoy activated. Clockwise. Stop during unloading. I'm going to activate that. Uh, driver priority. I'm interested to see if... Um, I'm interested to see if the spout on the X9 will unload. Uh, have I done everything I need to do there? Uh, okay, I'm going to... And I also noticed this the other week as well. If you don't start up the combine and drop the header sometimes with the X9, I'm not sure if it's just X9 specific. Um, 
it uh, it doesn't start well. Right, there's one. Let's get the other one in. I'll, I'll look at the chat in a minute, guys. This is this is uh, these are interesting times. <laughs> Donna Orange, how are you doing? Mutin, what's my favourite tractor model? Um, I think you'll be able to guess by the colour of the machinery I'm using. Uh, fact, don't come at me with your technical questions, dude. I have no idea. <laughs> um, you know what I didn't do? I didn't save the course. Let me... Let me save my course. Field... Well, what even field is this? Six? Combine times two. Right. And we'll get in here. Let's load this up. Field six. Combine times two. Oh, I didn't delete my old courses there. Field six. Combine times two. Is that right? Let me just do that again to be sure. Combine times two. I'm running version 6.02 still, just for safety. Yeah, so, uh, Thak, uh, I think distance means that the combine closest will get unloaded first. Uh, as, as far as I understand it, I believe that's, uh, that's the case. Uh, any more technical questions, just ask. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, Jess, Jess seems to think that's the case as well. Well, right, enough messing about. Convoy activated. Um, unload. Um, have I is one right? Everything looks good. First waypoint. Drive course. Please power up. This combine freezes. X9 doesn't. See? What did I say? Unless it's powered on and the head has dropped. It's also very possible that um, that wasn't the start point. But let's run into a little drive course. Let's see what he does. Oh, he's reversing to the start point. There we go. Have I seen any bale storage mods for bales other than vanilla bale, i.e. clover? I'm just trying to think. Not sure, Robert. Um, you technically could add new um, bale types if you played with the XML, if you were that way inclined. I know not everybody is, but... Uh, Right, there you go, Josh. Two combines running. No bother in course play. Next to each other. Um, I did a tutorial on it a while ago, actually. If, if you're interested in giving it another go, go check it out, because it's... Uh... Right. Now, the moment of truth. Like I said, I have not done one of these for a very long time. Let me run down to the mother bin. Because that's where we want to start and stop our course. Empty combine and offload to trailer. That is us. That is the one we want. Have I ever noticed any problems on this map when planting north and south with the planter skipper? Yes, I have, Josh. Um, I'm just trying to think which field it was in. One of the fields is very bumpy and it kind of lifts. Yes. Field across the street from the main farm. I actually think it might be... Um, 
contours of the field that are, are lifting the right so now I should be able to run up to this um, I, do I just do a start and stop here I can't remember what I'm doing right let's give it a go let's check my pipe is in if I open my pipe make sure that it reaches or I might need to get a bit closer Oh, this is a uh, this is a uh, quite a low. Uh, uh, there's no collision. Good. Um, there is a collision. I don't think this is going to work. I think we need to go back and get the uh, the other one. We're going to go and get the Elmer's one. I'm just trying to think. Joshua, am I playing with the SciTech? I'm, well, I'm playing with the Logitech version, Josh, which is the newer version, which I think is a lot less... Uh, and I know there was a few problems with the old one. This one's worked a treat since I started. Um... Yeah, I've got an issue here with that uh, the pipe on the auger wagon not being big enough to get into the uh, into that Coolman bin. How am I going to do it? Thinking on my feet here. Thinking on my feet here. Tall auger wagon auger. Make a hill. That's the other option, isn't it? Let's just play with the. Uh, the ground levels. I'm not doing that. Uh, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? Yeah, I bought this for the. Uh, it's the heavy equipment bundle, Josh. So I bought it for the um, the side panel as well. But actually, now I don't. Um, I don't use it because I've created the sim dashboard. So th they've kind of taken over. Hmm. What do we think, guys? We got any? Is there any other auger wagons that got bigger augers on them? Coleman Overload. Have I got one of those installed? I've just got the Kinseys and I've got the Elmer. Elmer's pipe's longer, though, isn't it? Or is it the same? I do have an Elmer's at the far. I think it's the same though, isn't it? Hmm. The funnel of the auger wagon will not collide and you're going to have to be in the very front or back of the mother bin. Well, I did drive on, didn't I? And it was all right. Combines are going to be ready by the time I'm ready. Josh, is this map fictional? No, this is a very real place. See, it let me drive on at the back. So here, it let me drive on. No, it didn't. I wonder if I just need to be able to... The, the, um, see, there, that's going to unload it, isn't it? Right. There we go. We can make this work, guys. Now, do I just have a start and stop point? Right, start course recording. Now, if I remember, stop course recording. You and you. Drive course. Is that it?
Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Who's going to go first? Oh, where's he off to? Oh, I know what's happened. I know what's happened. I know what happened. Wait. Stupidly had that set. User error. That's user error. That is not... Do not blame cosplay. This is not a cosplay problem. This is the clown we set it for the last field last time and I forgot to turn it off evening Vanessa how are you doing I will not have a bad word to <laughs> against cosplay buffoons like me yeah I'm going to go back and fix that Robert I think So this is going to be interesting because I'm full here and I'm on the outside of... Oh, there's enough, there's enough space there to bring a tractor, isn't there? So if I now switch this back on, now my incompetence has uh, passed. Let's see if he calls. <laughs> you are right, Thomas. Next closest waypoint. Next closest waypoint. I don't know why he's reversing. Yes, Luis. Are you feeling my pain? Now, where's he going? I mean... Oh, he's cutting in. He is cutting in. HRX. So, HRX hasn't moved. Drive now. Park it and set request on load in leftmost tab. Drive now. He's not working. Right. Leftmost tab. Start driver. Send driver home. Driver. Yes, that's the driver we want. Yeah, my ATRX turned off. It's already called it, but I think my tractor's... Right. Drive now. I've got two fields. Start and stop course, but we've done that. Drive now. Yeah, I'm gonna I think I think Robert's right. Should I put an unload point in the middle of that? Right, let's let's go around again. Let's set this up. What I think we didn't do is we didn't put an unload point in, so 
what we want is a start here. Oh, too far. This is going to be a fine line between success and failure. Okay, so if we do start here, do we want to do an unload in the middle? Would that be right? Don't need an unload. Uh, don't need an unload point. Right, let's stop that. Let's get rid of that. Let's start again. Park. Right. Thanks, Robert. Right, we'll do our start point here. Try and make sure we don't miss this. Oh, it's a thing of beauty, guys. Park. Unload. And we'll do a stop point there, yeah. Stop voice at current waypoint drive course. Let's go! He's going to drive across the field, I think. Let's see what happens here. Oh, this doesn't look good. Oh, is he just driving? Will he line up now? Okay, well, he's avoided our bin issue. That's good. Now, will he drive to the combine, or is he just going to do laps of the field? Uh, okay, you know what I'm going to do now. Field speed, 24 miles an hour. Set it to unload, or go straight away to... Evening, Will. How are you doing? Do I need to... Uh, can the X9 call him? Request a driver. I select, oh, did I select my combines? Yep, yeah, I selected. Drive now. <laughs> oh, I want it to work so bad. Um, let's turn this on. Quest driver. Why is he sitting there as well? Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh. Ye of little faith, people. Ye of little faith. Although the only problem is now the... Uh, the 790 is... Uh, right, let's, uh, let's play with the... Ah... There we go. My uh, my cruise control is at a silly speed, and now I'll be able to tweak my speed here. Field speed's twenty-four, so I don't know why it's going. 
turn speed. We'll see about that. Let's bang everything up to max. There we go. It's not what you expected, Scorpion. Sorry, dude. Right, that's running. What I'm going to do, just to avoid any carnage when I get back, I'm going to unload this. Has he done a full... Has he done a full um, lap of the field? Where's he come from? <laughs> Thanks, Scope. <laughs> right. I have no idea where he's come from. There's two... Ah, oh, he's driven over, has he? Why has he driven over? I never asked him to drive over. Who does he think he is? Well, thank you guys for all the ideas and the moral support getting that started. Let's see what happens next. I'm going to set I'm going to check self unload again. I've turned it off now, but I wonder if it's it's combine specific. Right, there we go. They're both off now. Yeah, they're both off now. And we'll just have to drive back to where he was uh, supposed to start. So. It takes ages with this now. Now I've got the X9. It takes ages to unload the 790. Still a great combine though. I do not know what's going on at the other end of the field with the X9. He's still saying he needs unloaded. I can see him there. I can't see another bin. You know what, we'll line this guy up and then we'll... Uh... Yeah, thanks Scott. I thought I've done a few of them around the map actually. Uh, I'll set this guy to go and then I'll go and show you some of the other ones because... Um... So we do have a massive overlap, we have a 20% overlap here, so the second row for the X9 is going to be skinny. But that's okay. Yeah, I've got another one over there, mate. X9 is in traffic. Oh, you know what, it's not moved out of the way in time. This will be fine once uh, we're into the um, rows, he says confidently. Right. next closest drive so he should just go now Luis thank you for dropping by thanks for the support as well that's another new glitch throwing the header up in the air before you now what's happened here ah oh, it's because it's because I've got engine start stop on so he now um Right, you know what we need to do here? Not too offset there, is it? Um, this we need to offset the tool so it fits under the pipe. That's the problem here. We will get there. We will get there. Um, can I do a tool offset with this? Side offset. Am I going the right way? I wonder if we test it again, whether it will work. Is he going to align further away? 
Yes. Now we're talking, people. Now we are talking. Is Yoga Wagon Private Havoc? Um, it was provided to me today by Quiet Hitman. But I will drop him a note in uh, Discord later on if he's not still on. And if he's happy for me to share it, I will uh, I will put it in the Discord to download. Paddy's Agra Builder. Hello from Germany. How are you doing, sir? Quinton Laporte, how are you doing, sir? Go check out Farm Crew. Oh, look at that. He's in reversing in time. Have we nailed this? Oh, havoc. Well, I'll find a way of getting to you, man. If he allows it, we'll, um, I'll, I'll find a way of getting it for everyone. So he'll just sit now, right, until he's full. So he's going to go and find another combine. Now, the 790's coming round. Did I do two headlands or one? I did two, didn't I? My son says I am not scary looking. <laughs> That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Thanks, Scorpion Son. Right. We are cooking with gas, I think. Thank you, James. Much appreciated, my friend. You're scary. I'll have to take your word for it. Right, sorry, I've not been paying that much attention to chat, I don't think. Hopefully, uh, we're we're good now. Oh, no, right, the final stage now is to make sure that we, uh, once we fill this auger wagon, is to, to go back and uh, unload it. So let's see how that goes. How are we doing for time, actually? Totally lost track of time tonight. I'm enjoying myself. 11 o'clock. JSW, how you doing, my friend? Yeah, another UK lockdown. Whew. Fab camera angles and editing in your videos. Yeah, I, it's it was the thing that I wanted to do when I set out and did farm sim. Was I looked at what everybody else was doing? I was like, what can I do? What can I do differently? And what what would people want to see? And I thought, I wonder if this, rather than just speeding up the gameplay because a lot of you guys do that and do it very well. Um, instead of doing that, could I show the passage of time through a nice little montage edit type thing? And So I, I my background is marketing and, and uh, a lot of AV video stuff uh, and editing videos and uh, design. So um, I kind of used some of the stuff that I knew from my work uh, in terms of you know shooting good footage and just applied it here. It was hard with a keyboard and mouse, but actually with the joysticks on a on a controller, it's uh, it's really um, fun grabbing some of those shots. So, yeah. Thanks, dude. Oh, thanks. Have yes, James, on for probably going to be another hour or so. Yes, Nick. Smooth shots. Joy um, joysticks on your controller are your are your key to that. I'm giving away all my trade secrets, but I don't care. You got to do something different because you're just the same as everybody else. Then, so you always got to find a niche for yourself, like sim dashboards. <laughs> So yeah, no, I'll definitely have a look at working a way of getting another camera so that you can see my sim dash. I quite like um, uh, Raymond's idea was maybe you could get a, a screen capture for the Android device. So uh, we'll see what happens there. Here comes the 790. Is he cut in there or is he still coming? Can't tell. That header looks always high, doesn't it? I'm uh, not going to tempt fate, but this is interesting. 
Now, I bet you the offset that we've put on this for the X9 is uh, not going to allow us to uh, to unload this, is it? Oh, is he lying? What's going on here? Oh, this is not going to end well, is it? Oh, feeling physically sick. Oh, he stopped in time. <laughs> oh, Thomas, you're getting a new tablet tomorrow. That'll be awesome. Uh, Nick, dashboard is dope. Uh, what tablet am I using? I have a 10 inch tablet. Would you would that work fine in terms of resolution? So, yes, Nick, I've got a 10 inch tablet. I went and bought the cheapest one I could find on Amazon. I think it cost me about 100 pounds in the UK. So what's that? 100 and twenty dollars in the states um oh he's just going to follow behind that's quite good until he's ready um he's following behind very early isn't he i've got it set to like follow at 50 percent um so yeah no i've got the cheapest 10 inch tablet ever uh, and it works a treat um the only thing is resolution wise if you can get one that's um 1920 by 1200 or anything that's uh, 16 by 10 resolution um, aspect ratio that's the size that I've designed the screen so um, 1280 by 800 would work as well um, so uh, yeah either of those resolutions are, or a 10 uh, 16 by 10 ratio rather than 16 by 9 which is probably what all your TVs are um, I'm not even sad, Raymond. I'm just happy that it's kind of working. We're running two combines. And he looks like he's aligned pretty nicely to him here. No, I think he's all right, Robert. I think he's just, um, he's just trailing him until he's ready to unload. Problem is they... This is why you want to get off the headlands because they uh, um, cut off the they'll, when they they'll reverse into the into the crop, won't they? And step out. JJ, I'm driving on the beans uh, because I'm tr I'm running course play, uh, and I've got an automatic unload. Um, so ideally, I wouldn't want to drive on the on the beans. I totally agree with you. Um, I wanted to run um, the land area of course play, which will always put the spout of the combine on the outside of the outside of the row. And to be honest, the X9 was the first was the lead combine, but because uh, of the issues we had, this one's overtaken. So actually, they're slightly out of kilter on the field as well. So it might be prudent to uh, oh, there he goes. This is drive to combine trigger. It might be prudent to. Uh, stop the 790 for a bit and let the X9 take over the lead again let's just let's see I'm, I'm, I'm reluctant to change anything after uh, after getting it set up so drive to combine that means at 8% which means he should drive on yeah, the, sca the spout nozzle does move on the X9 unless you've got this air bar header because it adjusts the air bar header. So I've got a clash of uh, controls there, so it's not working for me. But that's not to say that... Uh, um, can't tweak it. I'll maybe just get a different header. Now where's he going? There's a problem with course play recently as well. It'll just continue to just loop the uh, loop the headlands and won't cut into the uh, the up and down rows. He's maybe grabbing that. No, he's not grabbing that corner. Yeah, so he's doing his he's doing his um, corner again. Course play. 
What do you do? Oh, it's driving on. Is he driving on there? Or is that just the... Uh... Oh, hang on a sec. No, that was just an unfortunate... Does it, Robert? New version of Cosplay's got a fix. Good. Uh, let me just stop. What I want to do is have a look where he starts his... Maybe he's just driving. Oh, he's just driving to his... Um... I think he's just driving. I think they start in the bottom corner. Yeah, I think you're right, Raymond. Now the X9 needs unloading, but he's prioritised this... He's prioritised this combine. He's just going to have to wait, I think. I wish they'd lift the header and drive when they do this. I wonder if they'll start unloading a bit now. Oh. Okay. He's going to go off to the X9 now, isn't he? Has he decided he's going to do the X9 first? Right, let's see how we go here. Yeah, I might just download that latest version, Chris. I've been I've been holding off updating it for that very reason. Like the amount of bugs that people have told me about, I thought mm, I'm just kind of give it a, give it a few weeks and let it settle down. No, it's a fixed spout on, on this Robert, I think. Right. Oh, look. He did decide to go and... Uh, go and visit the... Uh, why is this cruise control gone down again? Yeah, I think you're right, Scorpion. It's never been the same since... You remember that first stream? When... Uh, When the worker flogged 1.6 million pound of class combines, I had to go and buy them all again. Or lost them in a field somewhere. I don't know where. Carter Griswold, how you doing, sir? Welcome to the stream. Right. Let's see what's going to happen here. We still haven't unloaded back, and we're still not going to at the end of this. We need to probably get this from the X9. Why is this 14 miles an hour? I don't want 40 miles an hour. Surely it's set to more than that. Everything's up. Why are we only doing 14 miles an hour? I give up. Right. Yeah, we probably need this from the X9, another full unload from the 790, and then we'll squeeze in another, uh, a little bit from the X9. Set field speed to 40. Right, Robert, I will. Why is it, right, explain that to me. Is that a bug, Robert? I love the zigzagging as well. Right. Let's see how well this goes. 
Do not crash into the header. I said... Do not <laughs> crash... Oh, for goodness sake. Surely that's got to be a bug. Okay, other than ramming the header, that's not bad. This is doing all right, guys. This is doing all right. And I bet you that 790 started. Is he just turning at the bottom there? He is, he's doing his edges. Yeah, exactly. Just a bit of scratched paint. A bit of tea cut, you wouldn't notice. Okay. So far, so good. I'm now, uh, and now he's going straight to the 790. And think he's going to do a lap of the whole field? No. Okay. Things are looking up, guys. So here's the question: Is it worth all this hassle? I mean, the combines were running fine in the field. If I'd turned uh, auto unload off, if I'd remembered to do that, they would run perfectly in this field, and I could have just chased them around the field with the auger bin. He's um, he's not doing his up and down rows either, is he? So we're going to take this opportunity to fix that. <laughs> oh, so the quick answer is yes. Just chase him around the field with an org wagon and save yourself a lot of misery. Right, let's get this set up. It's still good fun trying this stuff though, isn't it? I'm not going to criticise Course Play because it's such a good tool. You know, in general, what they've done. And you think about it, it automatically plots all this stuff. It's really clever. So, um, fair play. I will absolutely download the new version. Right, which way are my arrows going? So he will come down... I think he peels in just here, didn't he? Let me find out where the... Why do PC players always have the camera so far away from the tractor? So you can see what's going on. Yeah, this is where he peels in, isn't it? That is where he missed his entrance. So now I should be able to go next closest waypoint drive course. Now, should I have turned it on or not? Or is he going to be clever enough to turn it on? No, oh, he's done it. Uh, refueled. Oh, where's he going? I was almost good, guys. I was just in the wrong place. I need to go and fuel this up. Guard dog, how do you, my man? Next closest waypoint. Oh, should we go nearest waypoint? Oh, let's see what happens here.
And the X9 will come and pick up that little bit, and then I think we should be good. Isn't it set to left? <laughs> Poor. No, right. Thanks, Johnny. Start to panic there. Yeah, I'm good, guard dog. Hope you had a good day. Yeah, the Nearly ran out of fuel on this. I suppose I did run field 9 and field 18. Um, I need to go and turn back on the RX, 8RX, don't I? Right, let's get rid of the lines again, because that's not pretty. Get mangled by my own header. Right. Do I have a fuel tank? I don't think I do. Let's watch these guys crash into each other again. Oh, nice Johnny. Guys, oh, just drive, just drive through the field, why don't you? Honestly. Glad to hear it, guard dog. Sounds like a good day. I'm sure I had this not driving on... Uh... Avoid fruit activated. Well, that worked. Start at 50. Right, we're not doing that. We're going to start at 80. No, we're not. We'll start at 75. Just in case he's too far away to... Here comes the X9 as well. Let's see if he turns in. My betting is that he's not going to. He's going to wait, hopefully, and turn round. Need to go and get him some fuel as well, don't I? Please don't crash into him. Okay, we're good. <laughs> you can understand why I might be a little bit nervous, right? This track record, not that great. Right, this should... This is... Mm, pipe, reach, please reach, please reach, please reach. It's going to cut in now, isn't he? Right, how's this going to work, do we think? Think he'll drive round again? He's going to drive round again, isn't he? Probably crash into the X9. We need to move here because um, now the combine stopped. Right, I'm going to make a commitment to keeping um, things as basic as possible with course play in the future. Alright, I'm not going to turn this on until he's uh, done his thing. I wonder if we wait actually and let the X9 uh, catch up again. Well, it's never going to work because the uh, 
the capacity of the tank on the 790 is bigger, so he's always going to catch him and pass him. So I think I might just have to deal with it. Oh, they're on convoy as well, so the 790 is stopping. So, no, maybe it would work then. If I just hold him here... I'm going to hold him here. No, don't go! Because you'll crash into me too. Look, 790, the X9 will start again. He will do this row next to us, won't he? And he will... Why is he going to go next? I'm trying to work out. Yeah, he will run down this side, past the tractor here. And get ahead again. Let's try that. Let's try that. How are we doing for time? Yep, he should, she should come down this row and he should avoid the tractor. This looks promising. The only issue then is, will he run? No, he'll cut further over into the field, won't he? Because he's actually cutting into his next row here. So this could be interesting. Now, if I... If I get this guy out of the way slightly... Because I've got... Because I've got convoy on, he should. Right, where's the nearest waypoint now? Is he too far over? Yeah, he probably is a little bit. Let's give him a chance, shall we? Let's do that. Now, they're running as they should. Now, he's going to skip a row. X9 will skip a row. These are on convoy, aren't they? Let me just check that again. Vehicle convoy activated. 100 metres. It doesn't look like 100 metres to me, but... There you go. That's a nice shot, though, isn't it? Almost looks like we know what we're doing. Nice. Alright, let's get back in the 8RX. Turn that back on. We'll unload the X9 next, and we are probably close to a full tank. Or a full trailer load, anyway. And we will... Um, the last piece of the jigsaw. Does it uh, does it go in the mother bin? I'm going to say the automation of this has required a lot of hands-on. I could have just driven the auger wagon, couldn't I? So 73% in that. There is... He must be... Let's see, get on. Seventy-two percent. So he'll call at seventy-five, right? That's what we set it to. Or is he set at fifty? So we should have called already. Well, the X9 uses less fuel than the 790. We know that. Alright, he's uh, moving. Let's see how badly this is going to go. Or well. 
I don't want them to cut in. The ideal would be now that they sit in their lane. Oh, do you know what I could do? Where is it? Where is it? Stop drone loading. Right, we're not going to stop drone loading. Unloading. And we're going to... Oh, it doesn't give me a... You have to be switched off. Quite like him to... Um, not cut in. Stop at 95% not cut in. Right, the 8RX is going to crash into the 790, isn't it? Oh, it's not moved yet. 92% See, I don't want him to cut in. Can I stop that, do you think? Right. Right, there you go. Um, where's our unload? Where's our unload option gone, guys? Oh, it's on the tractor, isn't it? So much for convoy. Activate 100 meters. Can't win. Right here. Um, drive on at start at. Oh, drive on at 90%. Well, why didn't you drive on? Where's he going? <laughs> Convoy only works when all parties are running course play. But the two combines are running convoy. Or is it the tractor has to be on convoy as well, does it? Ah, right, okay, yeah, I stopped the X9. Right, gotcha. Yeah, 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 sorry. Misunderstood that. I hear you now. I hear you now. Yeah, this is it like pulls out of lane, which is annoying. But hopefully, the 8RX will spot that and come back now. Really got to fuel that um, 790 as well, don't we? Right, where's. Do you think the. Um, I think this guy's going to the uh, unload point now. I think he's going to the mother bin. Ah, fair point, Jess. Yeah, it seems I'm. I'm I quite. I'm okay with that. I'm just. Uh, that's my cornfield there as well. I think I might just drive my combines on that. Lucas Lowry, where do I get my mods from? Everywhere. Uh, Mod Hub, Yes Mods, Mod Hoster. Um, just stick to the reputable um, sites. That would be my only suggestion. Um, ideally, if you can get them off the Mod Hub, that's, uh, that's the best place for them. But obviously, not all mods are available on there, so sometimes you have to do a bit of shopping around. Yeah, God Dogger, that's what I do. Look at me, he's like, this guy's got a 
death wish. Yeah, that's right, Jess. It's just um, that's why I, I wanted to run um, lands with it, so the pipes always on the outside of the field. But it was sending me across corners and through trees and stuff, so I had to just uh, accept defeat. Yes, Facebook groups are good too, Derek. Good point. Um, like goat. If there's modders who don't have their stuff on the mod hub, I would always recommend going to the modders page to um, download the mod because that supports them. You know, you've got to say thank you for all the good work they do. So, where do I get my map on what you're playing on? Um, the map's called Flint Hills. And all the stuff you should be able to find in the description. Thank you, Raymond. Right. Auger pipe. Where are you? Oh, it's working. Yay! It's like we planned it. It's like this is supposed to happen. It's like a it's like a miracle. It's not loading. Why is it not loading? <laughs> Oh, oh, where's he going? Now we were, um, we were being a little optimistic there. We were kind of hoping, weren't we? We were hoping for a miracle there, I think. It was so close to being good. So close to being good. Right. Right, look away for a second, guys. I'm just... Uh, I've just purchased a crane to move things. Jordan, you are a gentleman, sir. Thank you very, very much for that super chat. I'm glad you've enjoyed the absolute debacle that has been <laughs> course play again. Um, I think we know what we're going to do here, don't we, guys? We're going manual. We are going manual. I think there's an acceptance there that we... Uh, yeah, we need a longer pipe on our auger. On our auger wagon. So we'll just kind of have to just botch it a little bit here to get this unloaded. And then we'll... Uh, then we'll just run it manually. Kuhlman Bin Chaser. Robert, you're a genius. I'll need to go and find that. I know there's one that works with it. They are high, aren't they? I'm going to check out them. Haven't I already given you a shout out, Austin? Well, there you go. You just got one. Right. The least automated, automated uh, thing ever. I'm going to straighten this up as well, I think. Let's uh, get this lined up. Not enough power in these tractors for this massive bin. Now it's got some. Now it's got some grain in it. There we go. That'll have to do. We'll make it. We'll make it work.
Oh, brilliant score. Right, 790. I'm going to have to drive on crop now, aren't I? I know. I mean, I guess they run them in Oz, but they, uh, they're they nuts. Aren't they? Absolutely bonkers, the size of them. Quarter of a million litres in them. Am I using a smaller chaser? No, it's the same size guard dog, but um, it's got it's got different wheels. There's a little little present from uh, one of uh, one of the modders from uh, Quiet Hitman. If you know him, he's got a few things in the mod hub. Oh, there we go. He's cutting in now. I could have just waited instead of driving on crop. I'm going to actually reverse out and let him do his thing. Oh, it was almost so good. Almost so good. Evening, Alex. How are you doing? They can just wait. Now he's not on stop to unload, isn't he? So... I'm going to turn that back on there. Or he's just going to try and drive off when I, uh... Activated. So why is he trying to move now? Oh, because I turned it off. Kim Wilhelm, how are you doing? Rasty, hi from France. Bonjour, my friend. Oh... I literally want to... Am I in the combine? Is it going to flip my chaser bin? <laughs> oh dear. Cosplay, cosplay, cosplay. You know, you try so hard to, to use the tools you've got at your availability and it all goes horribly wrong. Great demand at Flint Hills Resources. Flint Hills is the map, guys. I'm telling you. It really is. I'm very excited for um, Back Home Again, which is their next map, which they're heavily in development of at the moment. It's going to be... It's going to be awesome. You're welcome, Austin. It's great to have you here watching watching the stream, mate. So... Uh, glad you glad you're along to watch me making an absolute dog's dinner of cosplay. I'm gonna have to get out of the way pretty quick, I think. It is it is the best map, the best large map I've ever played. There's so much about it that's brilliant. All right, let's get out of your way, sir. I don't want to fight with an X9. Right, have we got time to go and get some fuel for the S90? I don't even think I've got a fuel tank back at the ranch. Let me see. I've got a thun thunder here. Yeah. Let's just buy that for what it costs. Um, Let's go back to the farm. Pick it up.
Ken, there is. You're right, sir. It's called Lands. And uh, I nearly... T I tried to set it up with Lands. The only problem was it was uh, crossing over... It was crossing over trees and stuff. So um, I didn't run it, but I should have... I should have maybe persevered a, bit, a little bit with it. Oh, I really do, don't I, Scorp? Get a little farm sim guy logo on the side of it. Give uh, give Chad a run for his money. There we go. Ouch. Now, is this the one with death on it? No. So I should be able to just fill this up. Yes. We're good. Craden, on this on my computer that would be so laggy. Yes, it um even the even the guys at JS Mapping said you have to have a pretty punchy PC to run Flint Hills at, at good res. Even I, while I'm streaming now, you go you guys don't see it as much, but I get some judders here. Well, you might see it actually. Me who, hello! How are you? Welcome to the stream. Oh, this is slow. What PC do I have? I am running uh, an AMD Ryzen 7, um, the, the, the newest gen version. Uh, 3700, I think. I've got a Tomahawk B450 uh, motherboard. I've got 32 gig of Corsair RAM. And uh, an RTX 2080 Super card. Two um, 144 hertz screens, which are absolutely useless for farming sim. <laughs> um, so, yeah, exactly to Scorpion's point there in the chat. Um, it's very helpful for rendering vids, for capturing footage while you're playing the game. But actually, um, farm sim does not. You don't need a super duper f computer for farm sim because it's uh, it doesn't utilize the the power of the PC properly. And hopefully, that's going to change with the new version. Stuart Trentum, you're starting a YouTube channel. Any tips? Yes. Um, find a niche for yourself. Find something that uh, other people aren't doing. So if you're doing farm sim, do something that other people aren't doing or, or put your own spin on it. Um, so you, you own it and it belongs to you and people come and watch you because of that. Uh, what else would I say? Um, uh, post, be consistent with your posting. If you think you can manage a, a vid every other day, do a vid every other day. If you think you can do one a week, do one a week, but be consistent. The, the, the key here to being discovered is to get the YouTube algorithm to like you and one of the key things that it likes is is consistency so as long as you put in a video out at I don't know the same time once a week and that's what you do that's a good start um, always do your tagging always put good descriptions in your thumbnail is super important don't put too much text in your thumbnail let the image do the talking and put your put your the title of your video in your in the in the title you've got 70 70 characters um so and and have fun you know at the end of the day have fun i've i've actually there's a few people who've emailed me and dropped questions in the discord recently where they're chasing chasing the subs and chasing the numbers you know i've been doing it for a few weeks and they're like how can how come i'm not getting you know hundreds and thousands of views yet uh, it takes ages you know, I I think I am an exception to the rule. When you speak to Kedrick Farms and people like that, he was doing it for two years before he hit a thousand subs. I mean, I I think, you know, maybe I was just really really lucky with Flint Hills finding it when I did, that uh, created a lot of interest in the channel. But um, you're in it for the long haul. Do it because you enjoy it. 
don't do it because you want to be famous don't do it because you uh, um, because you you want to have a big YouTube channel because it, it, you're doing it for the wrong reasons um, JSW you're getting views but not subs any suggestions ask people it's okay to ask for subs let people know that you're trying to grow your channel and and one of the things that helps that is um, uh, doing handbrake turns in your Chevy. Um, you have to do it because you enjoy it, or you'll have it, or you'll just burn out. You know, period. It's just there's no point. But uh, it's okay to ask. Um, go and post post. If, there's a lovely community section on the um, Giants forum. Post your stuff there. Uh, I've got a Facebook page as well where I post stuff every now and again. Um, I, I really dislike Facebook. I think it's a really toxic environment. But um, you know, there's still some nice people on there who, who that's how they find your content. Um, but uh, but first and foremost, like, do not do a YouTube channel if you want to be famous. That's that's very very lucky. Uh, if, and, and it will happen to a very small minority of people. And to be honest. With something as niche as farm sim, the likelihood is it's not going to happen. You're not going to be, you're not going to have two million subs on, you know, doing farm sim vids. Uh, do it because you love it. Um, you might make a little bit of cash out of it if you, if you're lucky. Um, but do it because you love it and you want to, you want to share your passion with other people. Um, but if you're not in the Discord, uh, Stuart, jump on the Discord because there's a, because there's quite a group of us on there who uh, who are like there's a load of people who've just started out new channels um, and we kind of do like tips and advice and help people out um, I'm not sure if you saw my saw my live stream from uh, in between Christmas and New Year where I did a I did a creative one um, because uh, I'm just driving this around the field now uh, I did a creative one showing how to do thumbnails and editing tips and, and things like that. So, you know, we're trying to do stuff all the time. Um, but yeah, JS, JSW, stick at it, man. If you're getting the views, that's half the battle. That's half the battle. Sometimes the subs come, sometimes they don't. It's it's uh, it swings and roundabouts. It swings and roundabouts. Um... But if, if if people are watching your content, they're enjoying it. So that's that is the first step. You've you've clearly got something that people want to watch. So that's uh, that's a good start. Charlie Sampson, how are you doing, my friend? Thanks for joining the stream. Hope you're well. I can't be bothered stopping the 790 to refuel it. I think it'll go. Let's just let it run until it... Like, we've got this here now. So, we'll let it run until it goes. What are we doing for time, actually? Well, uh, we'll probably only run for another 10 minutes. So, we're not going to finish this field tonight, I don't think. It's creeping up to midnight here. So, it's my time to... Uh, time to call it a night. I'm... Uh, just getting used to being uh, back at work this week, so I'm tired. So I would put this down to almost a success. Almost a success. But I think we proved that fully automating a field requires as much hands-on work as just driving the chaser bin. So uh, I think from that perspective running the combines on course play is a good idea but uh, there's no point well there probably is a point if you want to persevere with it but actually I'm not sure how much of a benefit in terms of speed or time there is uh, oh the X9 needs unloading let's jump into the wait 10 Charlie that is a cool man mother bin you are correct sir Quarter of a million litre cool bin.
Thank you, Marshall. Much appreciated. God, once they hit zero, they will bounce back to 10%. Is that right? Oh. I've never run a tractor down to zero. Or a vehicle, actually. So what are we here? I mean, the X9. Right, I need to be further out then, don't we? There he goes. Yeah, the Charlie is a, it's an Aussie one, actually. Um, just a kind of a, a different way of getting... Uh, getting stuff on the phone. Oh, the S790 needs to be unloaded as well. Interesting. Ken, uh, it's a while since you run cosplay. Can you choose how many sections cosplay should divide a field, or does cosplay automatically do it? Um, you can choose. You can choose. So, uh, to an extent, you've got a little bit of flexibility there. Right. Let me go and well, we're going to run this 790. I've decided we'll just run it until it asks for fuel. And see what happens. It probably is enough to run the field. It still looked like there was about a quarter of a tank left in it, so it could well run to the end of this field without needing refuel. So we'll see. What is the mod for the color of the soybean? This is um, this is f uh, custom textures that are already built into Flint Hills. So they come with this map. But they are quite nice, aren't they? Uh, T-Man, I think it's 18. No, it's not. It's 6. There's 18. So it's... Uh, there's Big Field 9. It's down to here. It's a nice field, this. I like this field. Are we going to get all this in here? I did not think I was going to squeeze all this in here. Might get a little bit left at the end. No, it's not all going to go in, is it? But more than I thought we were going to get in. Not going to argue with that. There is a nice platform at the end of this field. There's a big empty space. See where those trees are? It's a lovely empty space there. If you ever wanted to build your own farm on uh, Flint Hills, it's a really nice spot to do it just here. Just up my uh, cruise control. Have they fixed overload mode with the grain car? Yeah, I don't know, Ken. Somebody else might. I'm running an old version of course play here, so... Uh, Rasty, does the steering wheel make the game more enjoyable? A hundred times. Um, I'm, I'm, controller, I'm sure, is nice as well, with the uh, joysticks, but keyboard and mouse for me is... Uh, was frustrating. Steering wheel is brilliant really changes really changes the playability of the game for me right, let's just sneak this into the corner here without getting no too close right, I'm definitely gonna switch to one of those Kuhlerman uh, chaser bins for next episode even though we've nearly finished the harvest now let's do it again Is it because it's full in this corner? Do I need to go along to the front? Oh, that'll do. Let's put the pipe away. Do you know what we're going to do? We're going to accept defeat on this, I think. That's a good point, guard dog. Actually, I might just check that setting. I don't think I've got auto refill on. Fuel usage default. Helper refill fuel off.
Right. Let me... I'm going to close this bin up. I'm going to get a truck. Shut the lid. Open the pipe out and we'll go and get a lorry. And we'll just refill this from here. Bit of trial and error. It's always nice to... I think if we had, if we had a good auger wagon that fitted over the bin, this would have been uh, really running smoothly now, I think. He says, with a slight hint of uh, irony. Right, where did I leave a wagon? Let's go and get... No, that's the Chevy. It was here, wasn't it? Thanks, Robert. Thanks for... Uh, Thanks for all the good advice and tips, mate. It's been great to have you on the stream. Hopefully see you again. Now, Ken, I think our issue with that, um, with that auger wagon is that it, the pipe is not long enough to uh, fit over the edge of the, of the chaser bin, of the the mother bin. We need something with a longer pipe, so uh, uh, we've got one lined up though. I think somebody's already flagged that there's a Kuhlman there's a chaser bin that, that will go alongside it that will work, so we'll do that. Ian Arles in the house. How are you doing, sir? How's tricks? There we go. Man, this pumps it out a long way from the truck as well. Do I have a brand to advise? I'm not sure what you mean there, Rasty, but uh, if I've got a brand that I like, that I like playing with on Farm Sim 19, I'm not sure if that's what you mean, but um, uh, I'm quite partial to John Deere. But I'm not against other brands either. I'm not sure how much is in this bin actually. I wonder if there's a full truckload in. The only problem is I've got nowhere to turn around. I'm gonna try and turn around now before I come back. Ah, for the steering wheel, beg your pardon. It's the Logitech uh, heavy equipment bundle. God, dog, I always forget about fuel. The only time I remember fuel issues is uh, when I've got a fuel issue. Oh, look, there's no uh, there's no drainage here. I can do a turn here. If I get stuck in a ditch, I like that. I should be able to fit the rest of this auger wagon in here and then we will uh, run this up to the sell point and I think we'll call it there for the night guys it's been uh, it's been fun it's been fun if not a little challenging at points but uh, it's always nice to try stuff isn't it it'd be boring if we were just doing the basics just going to reverse this up just a little bit so we've got a bit more space to angle the truck underneath it. If we can manage to do that without clattering the pipe with the top of the truck. Almost. There we go. It's probably too much in there to go in here so we're going to have to come back. It's a great fast unload on that truck. Look at that. Brilliant.
Awesome, thank you, Thomas. I'm going to check that out as soon as we finish the stream. This is the Roadrunner Plus, Raymond. Get it in the uh, get it in the mod hub. JSW, take care, my friend. Good luck with the channel. Anybody, if you're on here and uh, you haven't followed JSW, go give him a follow. Go and help him out with his channel. We're big fans of doing that on uh, on the Farm Sim Guy uh, streams. So go and help the little guys, because trust me, I was one very, very recently, and uh, I think it's really important to support support the community. Take care, Chris. Thanks for uh, dropping by again, my friend. Great to have you aboard. Combines need unloading, but we'll uh, we'll just leave them for the night now. I think we've done enough. There we go. Look at these fields up here that I've never even looked at or touched. Must uh, must branch out from my current fields. Although you all told me to keep field nine, you're all masochists. So we'll just roll this under the uh, unload point, and uh, we'll get it tipping. And I will bid you a fond farewell till the next time. Thank you all very, very much for uh, dropping by and spending the evening with me. I've had a great time, as always. Uh, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my stuff and uh, support me. Uh, thank you for getting me to 5,000 subs. Um, it means a lot. It really does. And uh, hopefully I'll see you all again very, very soon. But for me, for now, I'm the Farm Sim Guy. I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye for now.